Hello friends, today we are going to discuss very important topic from the PSM and that is the health communities in India. So we have to understand these health communities in India because after understanding the health communities we came to know how the health system created in our country. Okay, so this topic is quite important for us. Okay, the first community which we are going to discuss now is the Bohr community and this Bohr community was launched by Sir Joseph Bohr. Okay, and uh, you should also know the image of the Sir Joseph Bohr because quite frequently this question came in the exam to identify the Sir Joseph Bohr. So after reading the lecture you should go to the internet and search for Sir Joseph Bohr. Okay. This Bohr community was launched in 1946 and it is also called as the Community on the Health Survey and Health Development. Okay. So the Bohr community came in 1946. It is also called as the Community on Health Survey and Health Development. And this put its board put its recommendation to have long term measures, short term measures, and provision of three months training to the MBBS doctors to make them social physicians. Where the MBBS doctors has to go to the rural areas and study the study the environment of the rural people and the health of the rural people. Okay. And the board community also put its long term measure, which is also called as the three million plan, in which the board recommends that there should be creation of the health units and there should be creation of primary health units, secondary health unit and regional health unit. Okay. This was the 3 million plan or the long term measure. And in the short term measure, board introduced the concept of PHC or the primary health unit, primary health center. Okay. And it recommends that there should be one PHC for 40,000 population. Okay. This was the board community. But all the services which are provided by the board there was no provision or there was no planning to strengthen these services so to this was the drawback of the board and to overcome that drawback the more advanced community came in, and that was the Mudalair community and it came in the 1962 and it done is planning to strengthen the services and the planning is done at the national level where the Mudalair cre created the constitution of all India health services constitution was created and it also created at the state level regional organization to strengthen the health services which are provided in the Bohr community and also it strengthened the district hospital with the provision of certain specialized services okay and it also recommends that there should be one PSC for 40,000 population and the Mudra community is also called as the community on health survey and health planning so it does the function of planning where to strengthen the services which are provided in the Bohr community okay so we are trying to link the Bohr community with the modular community so that you can easily understand the concept okay the Bohr community provided the services but it does not have any planning to strengthen these services so that's why the more advanced community came and that was the modular community and it does the planning in at the national levels and at the state level and at the district level to strengthen the services so it is also called as the community on health survey and health planning but both bore and the mudra community the services which are provided in bore and the mudra community it lacks the vigilance or there was no one vigilance means there was no one to look after the services and that's why the bore and mudra community lacks the vigilance and to provide that vigilance the more advanced community came and that was the Chadda community this is the third health community and that is Chadda community it came in the 1963 and it came because it provided the vigilance to bore and the mudular to look after the, the services which are provided there and but the vigilance is special has its focus on the malaria eradication program and the family planning program okay it look after the the chadda community look after the activities especially for the national malaria eradication program and flam family planning program okay and the the and in the chadda community the basic health workers basically look, look after these activities for the malaria eradication program and the family planning program okay there should be one thing you have to know that there should be one basic health worker for 10,000 population this important point you have to remember and these basic health worker are being supervised by family planning health assistant okay 
and there should be one family planning health assistant for three to four basic health worker okay so the board and mother lacks the vigilance which is being provided by the chadda community but the vigilance has a special focus on the malaria eradication program and the family planning program and this vigilance is being provided by the basic health worker and there should be one basic health worker for 10000 population and these are basic health workers are being supervised by family planning health assistant but if you should know also there that in the chadda community both the activities are going together for the vigilance for the malaria eradication program and the family planning program so to overcome that the more advanced community came and that is the Chad, that is the mukherji community and this mukherji community came in 1965 and this mukherji community basically tried to separate the activities of malaria eradication program from the family planning program so the mukherji community which came in the 1965 just to dealing the malaria eradication program activities from the family planning activities okay then mukherji community one came in the 1965 and another came in the 1966 and it put its recommendation that there should be provision of basic health services at the block level okay this point you have to remember and then all the services which are provided in the board community and in the mudalayar community in the chadda community and mukherji community all these activities are being integrated by this very important community that is the jungle wala community and it came in the 1967 and it does the integration of the health services which are provided in the above mentioned communities okay then it also put its recommendation that there should be recognition of extra qualification and there should be equal pay for equal work and there should be special pay for special work and there are some other recommendation as well okay then after the jungle wala community the kartar sangh community came in the 1973 this community is also called as the community on the multi purpose workers okay and the kartar sangh community basically came to replace the it it, it also try to replace the workers which are already working in the above mentioned communities so it replaces the auxiliary nurse midwife by the female health workers okay and replace also replaces the voluntary workers like health educators or health educator assistants or vaccinators or malarial which uh, malarial surveillance workers and it replaces these workers by the more advanced male health workers so the kartar singh community gave the concept of multi purpose workers okay and it do the replacement and these basically these health workers male or female health workers are being supervised by the health supervisors the female health workers are being supervised by the female health supervisor and the male health workers are being supervised by the male health supervisor okay and there should be one health supervisor for 3 to 4 health workers okay then it also put its recommendation that there should be one phc for 50000 population this you have to remember that there should be one phc for 50000 population now after the kartar singh community which does the function of replacement of the workers then came the shrivastav community this community is also called as the group on medical education and sport manpower okay it came in the 1975 so the shrivastav shrivastav community or the community or the group on medical education and the sport manpower it launched certain schemes and it also launched the health workers so the shrivastav community came to launch the schemes and the health workers and the health workers which are being launched by the shrivastav Shir- community are the para professional health workers semi professional health worker multi purpose health workers and the health assistants so the concept of health assistant was given by shrivastav community okay then the schemes which are being launched by this shrivastav community it provides the referral services it provides the reorientation of medical education and it also 
introduce the scheme of village health guide and also introduce the scheme of medical and education medical and health education commission and three tier health infrastructure in the form of zila prishad and zila samiti so the shrivastha community came in 1975 and it launched the schemes and the workers or the health workers the schemes which are launched are the referral services roam scheme village health guide scheme medical and health education commission scheme and three tier health infrastructure and the workers the health workers which are launched are the para professional semi professional multi purpose and health assistant okay then a uh, few point about the krishnan community it came in the 1983 and it is just to strengthen the people of urban people also called as the urban revamping scheme it strengthens the health of the urban people not very important okay then we have the bajaj community bajaj community came in the 1986 and it was the last community and it supported this shrivastha community by making policy for it okay and it just created the policy that supports the bajaj community and the policy which are created by the bajaj community are the policy for the medical and health education it also created the manpower policy and the education commission this was few point about the bajaj community now i will try to interlink one community with another community so that you can easily cram it or learn it mm, so this chart is very important to understand the whole concept of communities the first community came was the poor community and the drawback of this poor community these services are there is no planning to strengthen these services there is no planning to strengthen the services of the board community okay and this drawback is being overcome by more advanced community that is the modular community and it provides the planning to strengthen the services of the board community okay but both board and modular community the services which are provided here there was no one to look after it or we can say that it lacks the vigilance okay the poor and modular community lacks the vigilance which is being provided by the more advanced community that is the chadda community this chadda community provide the vigilance to strengthen these to look after the services of the poor and the modular community okay and, the, and this vigilance has a special focus on the malaria eradication program and the family planning program we already discussed it okay and both the activities of the malaria eradication program and the family planning program get mixed up okay so that's why the mukherjee community came and it separates both the activities or we can say it delink the activities of malaria eradication program from the family planning program okay so the all the services then are integrated by this more advanced community that is the jungle wala community okay it does the integration of the health services which are being provided here then after the jungle wala community there came the kartar singh community and we already discuss it does the replacement it replaces the workers which are being working in the above mentioned communities like it replaces the auxiliary nurse with wife by female health workers and the voluntary workers are being replaced by male health workers so that's important then came the shrivastha community and it launches the work health workers and the schemes so in this way the health system slowly slowly try to develop so kartar singh does the replacement of the workers then shrivastha came to add the workers and this launches the scheme and this shrivastha community is being supported by bajaj community we already discussed it makes the policy for this shrivastha community then we also discussed that krishna community it is just for the urban people for the health of the urban people now we take few mcq for this topic first mcq is psc was introduced as a result of report 
ऑप्शंस ऑफ ऑप्शंस आर बोर कम्युनिटी करतार सिंह कम्युनिटी मुदलेर कम्युनिटी और श्रीवास्तव कम्युनिटी आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट पी एच सी वॉज ए शॉर्ट टर्म मेजर और रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द बोर कम्युनिटी सो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पी एच सी वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय बोर सो द राइट आंसर इज बोर कम्युनिटी दिस इज द राइट आंसर देन अनदर क्वेश्चन इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीपर्पज वर्कर वॉज गिवन बाय I already told you that Kartar Singh introduces the concept of multi-purpose worker. This is the right answer. Then, three million plan was proposed by three million plan. I told you that is a long-term measure, and this long-term measure is by the poor community. Okay. Thank you. keep smiling